Hey, what's up guys? Eric and Jenna here with driverlineup.com, world's okayest steering wheel holders. We're pretty okay at it. <laughs> Checking in with you guys this morning. I apologize for the lighting. It, there is no sun and it's like 7.30 in the morning. That and makes me happy. Uh, it's raining super hard and it's gonna rain all day which is fun uh, we finally have a load I'm gonna get to trailer stuff here in a minute but just to give you guys an update because if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this please subscribe because every one of our videos are in order so we pick up where we left off so that way you get the full story <clears throat> yeah it's gotta be weird if you start at just like our latest video yeah and, and we're like, talking about something talking about? <laughs> so you guys who watched last night's video know we were at prime we did get a great loadout uh but we don't go pick it up until three o'clock um this afternoon remy just had turkey break and rice. fast if i say the whole word she'll think she's getting it again so that's why you're hearing a lot of pup noises um she's happy we got an excellent load there were a lot of loads that were not excellent a ton of california loads so for you weirdos who like to go to california in a full-size truck come on down got <laughs> there's a lot of loads here going to california there's one going to florida with three stops pays really well uh one going to michigan with three stops but uh after the kind polite professional gentleman that was there at six o'clock this morning told me about all the stuff i don't want uh he goes oh look at this bass pro load and those are always paying, great. Paying over two dollars a mile now, for longtime subscribers, you remember one of our first few videos. Bass Pro is like the only place that I haven't been able that I wasn't able to sink a trailer into the uh, into the drop yard. And it's the last time we were there, I struggled too. <coughs> so it's extremely ridiculously tight drop yard. Um, but anyway, we're gonna go pick that up later this afternoon. So we are on our way, it's getting kicked off with a $2 plus a mile dry load <clears throat> going to Wisconsin. So we're excited about that. Uh, so I, what is her name? Christine. Christine. So this video is for you, Christine. Jen will text it to you or message it to you just to make sure you get it. But Christine was asking if what we pay for on the trailer <clears throat> as prime drivers company lease owner operator doesn't matter yeah it was it was a really a really good question because she was like basically have you guys ever gone over you know what the difference is between what prime pays for if you know with the trailer and the tractor if your lease versus um company and we thought about it and we're like no we've never gone over that so yeah, thank I know you there's... so much for the suggestion <clears throat> Yeah, and I know there's other videos, that, you know, there's a lot of videos out there, but we wanted to put one on our channel. And not just for Christine, but I've seen Trucker Dude Brent on his channel a couple videos ago. He had talked about a Facebook post by a Stevens driver who was saying you have to deal with the maintenance of your trailer and you're not taking that into account when you talk about how much you're making at Prime. And he said you have to buy reefer fuel and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> um, so basically, and for all your Prime drivers, this is just preaching to the choir, but for those of you who don't know, thinking about coming to Prime, just curious, um, the trailers are Prime's trailers, all of them. So if you're pulling Prime freight, you're pulling Prime trailers. And that's a huge advantage um, even being an owner operator, like we're buying this truck and then we're buying our truck that should be here on the yard here in the next week or two, our second truck, but we still pull prime trailers and prime freight. So with that being the case, uh, what the Stevens driver, and this is not a bashing Stevens, I don't know anything about Stevens, never worked for Stevens, it's not bashing Stevens, but the driver who posted that we're responsible for maintenance of our trailer, I want to correct that because Brent didn't know when, and he admitted he didn't know because he's new with Prime. We are responsible for nothing on the trailer in terms of maintenance. Nothing. Not the reefer itself. Not not anything. Anything from the the drives back, you know, on 
the entire trailer, we are responsible for nothing. In <clears> fact, <throat> if you do a repair on the trailer, you get with Road Assist and they will pay you yeah. for repairing like the trailer. Like if you, if you replace a <laughs> mud, mud flap or something, or lights, they'll, they'll yeah. reimburse you the cost of the parts and all that and actually pay you for your time. The rivets for the shoot and stuff. Yeah, they'll actually pay you to do repairs on the trailer. Now, when I say we're not responsible, we are responsible for things we cause yeah so like if you hit something you're gonna have a deductible we're referring to normal wear and tear yeah <laughs> normal maintenance preventable maintenance all that stuff we are not we have no responsibility for even tires if there's a blowout on the road that is and it's on the trailer that's prime uh, if the tires are bad when you come into the terminal that's prime if the, tra if the tra trailer doors need to be repaired if the reefer needs oil change that's prime we don't pay for anything on the trailer for repairs and maintenance. Unless the tires need to be replaced because you tagged a curb or a pole. Yeah, there are some there scenarios be, where you would be responsible. But like an oil change on the reefer because you backed into the reefer unit and <laughs> smashed it like that yeah. one we picked up in Georgia. <laughs> yeah, we've never damaged a trailer, but... We've picked um, up plenty. <laughs> there are some scenarios, but general maintenance you know as was posted by the Stevens driver no there's no repairs that you have nothing to do with tire repair you have nothing to do with maintenance you have nothing to do with that is all prime in addition to that prime pays for washouts um, and it doesn't matter if you have a trailer for a week and a half and you have to get that trailer washed out seven times prime pays for every one of those washouts you do not pay for a washout now if you replace a part, Prime will pay, for, pay you for that. What they will not do is pay you for washing out your own trailer. Yeah. That would be amazing. But no, you you don't get... And you'll see a lot of Prime drivers wash out their own trailers. We do. Um, as long as it doesn't have, you know, like chicken bodies. Like if it's just pallet dust and things that could be swept or leaf blown out. Yeah. Yeah, if it's if it's stuff that we wouldn't want to buy food out of, <laughs> we're gonna go get figure out how to go get it washed out. But yeah, like Jenna said, if it's just pieces of pallet or you know, sometimes there's like M and M's and just weird stuff, you know, that that's not stuck to the trailer and we can sweep out or blow out with a leaf blower, and it saves us time because sometimes you gotta go sit in Blue Beacon line for you know hour and a half to get a washout. Or sometimes there's not even a washout between where you just dropped off and where you're picking up. So you just hope and pray that it's that there's not a mess on the trailer floor and it's loose stuff that you can go clean up. But you don't, you don't get compensated for that. But all of us do. We do it anyway because it saves us time. And time is money. Um, but when you go to a place that uh, does washouts, Prime pays for that. And not only do they pay for that, Virtually every place that does washouts is on Prime's network, meaning you don't even pay for it out of pocket. I say virtually because there's maybe one or two percent of places that are not. And in those rare scenarios, you pay for it and Prime reimburses you on your settlement. You just scan that receipt in with your trip and Prime reimburses it. List it on your trip sheet. Yeah, you list it. There's a, there's a line item on your trip sheet for that. Um, but Prime pays for all washouts so you don't pay for anything in terms of general maintenance and repair upkeep tires reefer unit uh, preventative maintenance all that stuff. you don't pay for any of that on the trailer you don't pay for washouts on the trailer the one thing that you do pay for if you're lease or owner op is reefer fuel when you're a company you don't pay for reefer fuel um, but when you're lease or standard lease or owner op um, or lease purchase, whatever you want to call it, um, you pay for your reefer fuel. And I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of videos out there saying these prime drivers aren't telling you they're responsible for their reefer fuel. Who the f cares? Like I don't understand. I don't get that, you know. And I think Brent did a really good job of pushing back on that. I mean, the revenue and the rates are there to justify those. Co it's like who cares? It's uh, in, in fact, a lot of our customers have a fuel surcharge for reefer fuel. Like it'll be line item for reefer fuel. 
not all of them, but if it's in, you know, if the contract supports that, you'll see a standard fuel surcharge for the tractor, and then you'll see a separate reefer surcharge for fuel. But that that's the cost of doing business. Uh, you know, you have to put three gallons of fuel in here and there, here or there. Okay, you know, our, our prices right now is like two fit, two fifty. Uh, generally, in most places for diesel which is not the price you see on the pump that's the price that's with prime's fuel discount um so you gotta put seven or ten dollars in a reefer fuel you know a couple times on a trip who cares that's a part of doing business that's money you're not taxed on because that is a direct business expense and even though it does come to your 1099 um all of that's spelled out on your your uh, settlements and your p l schedule c uh so it's not yes we have to pay for reefer fuel that's part of the, it's not it's not a big deal uh, so. what about washing the trailer uh washing the trailer yes good point i completely forgot about that you also are not responsible for washing the trailer that said or not responsible for paying for it that said you can only get the trailer washed i believe once every two weeks i think unless it looks absolutely atrocious then i think you can yeah, you you can call a fuel desk, I believe, and get a PO number. Um, but I mean, like if it's just covered in snow and ice or something like that, you know, where you can't even see the trailer numbers, then there's going to be exceptions to be made. But in the in the mobile app, it tells you when you pick up a trailer, that trailer gets attached to you, and that trailer's in your mobile app. You can see when the last wash date was for that trailer. So. Um, so you know, okay, well, it's been three weeks since the trailer's been washed, so I can get it washed, and Prime pays for that, too. And that's that's a big advantage for us when we get our tractors washed, because in most instances, when you get both the tractor and the trailer washed, or the tractor washed and a washout, the, there's a huge discount for getting your tractor washed. Uh, I think it's like 47, maybe, at Blue Beacon for a tractor, if you have one of the other two done so you save 15 or 20 dollars or something like that by having the tractor by having a trailer or a washout done with your tractor wash so um plus it's just it feels good to have a clean tractor and trailer together you know it just feels good but as long as you're you know you can't get that trailer washed two or three times if you have it for a week you're doing multiple trips with that same trailer you can't get it washed every time you go in but if it hasn't been washed for two weeks, you can get it washed and Prime pays for that too. So as long as you're good and safe and responsible with these trailers, then all you're responsible for is reefer fuel. You're not responsible for to pay for anything else. If you're lease. Um, if you're lease. <clears throat> if your company you have no, no financial obligation for that trailer or the fuel powering that trailer. Um, so that's, Hopefully that sets the record straight for some out there who are incorrectly posting information. And for you, Christine, hopefully that answers all of your questions. We'll do a separate one on tractor stuff. Um, <clears throat> but I just wanted to make sure that we got it up on our channel so that if someone like you ever asked again, Jenna or I can just send them a link to this video and say, here, hopefully this answers that question. So, um, so yeah, that's... That's our story and we're sticking to it. <laughs> All right, guys, be safe, make good decisions, and as always, drive to thrive. We'll talk to you soon.